Well, now as the probe intensifies on the parliament security breach, the Delhi police special cell has now formed teams in six states, including Rajasthan, Haryana, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal and Maharashtra to investigate the matter, question the accused in this connection. December 13th was when the parliament was breached by intruders where they jumped in table to table spraying colored uh, smoke inside the house. Probe teams in Karnataka's Mysuru is now questioning one of the accused, Manoranjan. And currently he has been handed over to a special cell. Also probe is underway in Haryana's Jind at Neelam's house and in Lucknow as well at Sagar Sharma's residence. All accused were handed over to the special cell on Saturday. Police during their investigation has allowed a video call between Sagar and his mother where Sagar has said he's done nothing wrong while his mother asked him about the parliament security breach. They still remain defiant. Cutting to Shreya Chatterjee, tracking the story for us. Shreya, we know that the, the intruders, they were arrested immediately, though one was absconding for a few days and then uh, surrendered himself. They claim that they haven't done anything wrong. Uh, tell us more on the uh, on the bid to delete evidence uh, while they planned this entire uh, coup in the parliament. They also at the same time want, wanted to escape and delete all evidence that could eventually lead to their arrest. Well, that's exactly uh, what was a part of the op modus operandi of the accused in the parliament breach uh, team. Now, we do know that Lalit Jha had escaped with all the phones of the four who initially got arrested. And subsequently, he, along with Mahesh Kumavat, had not just destroyed the phones of all the four, but Mahesh Kumavat actually went ahead and destroyed Lalit and his phone as well. Now, apart from that, right now, the investigation stands at a point where the Delhi police is visiting the native places of all the uh, accused. The reasons so that you know, Shreya, evidence, uh, as I did mention, do stay with us. A quick look at this update coming in on the parliament security breach. Lalit and Mahesh, two of the accused, said to have broken their phones to ensure all evidence is deleted. Mahesh shut down his phone, also Lalit's phone. Six of the accused arrested in the parliament scandal. Mobile phones of all of the accused were broken and destroyed, only so that any links to them, uh, or, or at least the police can't trace them back. Lalit had broken the phones of four arrested, including Neelam, Amol, Manoranjan, Sagar and himself. All of their phones, he, uh, he is said to have broken them to ensure that there's no evidence in place. He set them on fire, the remains of which were recovered from Rajasthan. Mahesh and Mahesh's phone also was uh, taken by Lalit. He has managed to destroy it completely. Now, it really remains to be seen what the police really uncovers of those destroyed pieces of phone that they found burnt and uh, they, they've managed to find it at a place in Rajasthan. In fact, Shreya, to bring us more on that, Shreya, if you could elaborate a little more. All right, we've lost Shreya's connection, but this is the latest update that we have. The parliament intruders, as much as they remain defiant and claim they haven't done anything wrong, here you have a clear, at least a clear picture and evidence to suggest that they wanted to get away post the crime and they in, intended to escape clearly which is why all their phones were taken and destroyed set on fire Shreya if you're back with us this is uh, the update that we get phones were set on fire so the clear intention was for them to escape as much as they remained defiant one of them came and surrendered last minute uh, so they claim they've done nothing wrong but uh, they've, they've done everything they can to erase evidence Well, you know, Nabil, as I was detailing about what the modus operandi of the entire people or the six of the accused who, uh, I mean, went ahead and did that parliament breach, they wanted all technical evidence to be removed. That's primarily why the four accused who were initially uh, arrested, their phones were given to Lalit. Lalit escapes to Nagor in Rajasthan, meets Mahesh Kumavat, who's a uh, native uh, from the Kuchaman region. Mahesh uh, breaks, breaks uh, Lalit's phone and his phone. So this is how they destroy all the digital evidence. Now, right now, the investigation, as I was speaking, stands at a point where the Delhi police is now visiting all the native places of all these six accused. The reason for that is to actually uh, unearth any technical evidence, any details that they actually can trace back whether there are more than six people involved in the attack. Because remember, we've also broken our social media was used as a ploy to recruit people and subsequently they moved on signal 
signal device the entire plan so the, uh, the, the delhi police still is trying to gather as much as technical evidence possible they are going through the social media accounts but clearly the modus operandi is exposed not just breaching the parliament they also ensured that they destroy evidence so that they cannot be connected back when it comes to proving the entire thing in the court wow and and clearly here a terror act has been slapped on the accused duapa is uh, what they are investigating the case on uh, how, how is that how are they taking forward uh, with that probe if you could give give us a sense on uapa a terror act that slapped on them Well, number one, the reason we have seen UAPA section 16 and 18 being slapped on all of them is because they breached the parliament. The reason that's happened is because the police and the, uh, I mean, agencies looking into the matter are looking at it as a threat to national security. Now, other details that the Delhi police is also investigating on whether there is a foreign angle to it, whether there are any masterminds sitting across the country who tried to further this entire agenda. How did they manage to uh, get tickets? How did they manage to get the money to actually come stay in a hotel and actually carry out this entire ploy because all of these students um, they were students largely they were also uh, playing the role of social activists so that's what they put their front as the fact that most of them were unemployed or all of them were unemployed how did they gather the entire plan and they actually went ahead and got to do this is something what the delhi police is looking at and that's primarily why they are being investigated under the charges of section 16 and the section 18 of the uapa All right, Shreya. Thank you very much. We will continue tracking those developments. Of course, we see Parliament ruckus that still continues with the opposition demanding a formal statement on the Parliament security breach by the Home Minister Amit Shah himself.